this is the drainage out of one of the swales. It stretches all the way to the road out there. <clears throat> And it's always hard to get like context for things. You know, it's, there's a good bit of water flowing there. Oh, some more mud here. Uh, so I thought I would show you guys the uh, existing water sources, water features that are on this property. So that water from the swale is pretty much grass filtered the entire way. And it gets further filtered in some cattails. So the pond water itself, even after a really strong rain, is really clear, which is nice. I'm walking over this way. Uh, it's interesting that we own property that is essentially a hilltop, but it's also big enough to have its own... Now oh, where is it? Here we are. Its own spring. I have not gone down in there. And played around. I think that'll be a future video trying to see exactly how much water is flowing out of this spring. Somebody had previously dug this out. I I know they dug this pond about 30 years ago and I think they used a, a backhoe. Because I saw some old pictures. The previous owners left pictures. Ooh, also, I love these kind of trees. Uh, muscle wood, ironwood, uh, Hop Hornbeam Beach, I think. Supposedly excellent for walking sticks because it's so stout. So I'm, I'm walking out here, the edge of some of the forest. Uh, this is the pine portion of the forest. It's much darker than the camera is exposing it to be because the camera likes to brighten things up. The house is over there, in a barn, and a dock, and this pond. It's been raining for four days. Look how clear that water is. This pond, oh, got some fungus growing there, the slippery kind. Uh, So this pond stays really clear and it's completely untreated. They haven't put any chemicals in it for for years now, I guess. So that's really nice. Uh, usually it's really windy, but today, surprisingly, not. This is uh, our new dog. I don't know if she's been in the video yet. This is Daphne. She is a golden doodle. No, 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 not golden doodle. Uh, Burn a doodle. I was confused. There. So, uh, Burmese Mountain Dog mixed with a poodle, a standard sized poodle. Uh, here is the overflow for the pond. It's just a pipe in the sticking up PVC. So that's nice, it won't rot out. And it drains down over here. Yeah, kind of a steep, long hill. There's a dark spot down there. Uh, unfortunately, I can't walk there now because I don't have the right shoes on. And it's all, everything down there is just sopping wet. Uh, not because the dam's uh, leaking, but because this is kind of a natural low area of the land. Kind of fitting for a pond. Looks very beautiful in these. That's why it's called the golden hour. Because it's in the evening when the sun's setting and it doesn't have direct light. It's got a lot of diffused light. Uh, so there are lots of deer on the property, too. And we see turkey, too. Every night there's deer up in the field. Uh, there's some fish in here. We were fishing once. And I caught... I caught a bluegill, and my wife caught a bluegill. Supposedly there are bass. Uh, it has not been stocked. It does have... It does not have, as far as the previous owners know, because we just got this a month ago and I haven't really gone fishing and nobody else has gone fishing here, does not have catfish, does not have snapping turtles. Um, so that alone makes it uh, potentially a very good swimming pond 
and it's I think like 12 feet deep in the middle section of the pond. So that's fantastic too. Hi Daphne. I did finally mow this. Uh, we've owned this for, like I said, about a month. And I finally got this mowed. I've been trying to mow the rest of it too. It's kind of like a parkland area here. And I want to uh, cut down a lot of trees that are direct view between the pond and the house and thin out some other ones that are over there not that are not uh, direct view to the pond. Because from our back door, we can't actually see the surface of the pond. And I'm doing that both for uh, visual presence, pleasantness, and safety, because we have two young kids and three dumb dogs. And, you know, I imagine this pond will be one of the first things that freezes in the, in the area. And it does have a little beach here, although my wife was, I have not gone in the water yet. My wife and daughter were out here, and they said there's a big patch of seaweed there. So I may need to give that some attention, some dredging. Looks like we have some transplant uh, crustaceans or something or other here. All right, uh, so that's where I started the video, right over there. And that's a walk around my pond. And I will see you guys later. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or additions that uh, I could do, because I've never owned a pond. Uh, any improvements or ideas, let me know because I'm interested to hear them and I'm only one man. I can't think of everything and I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye.